Okay. Hey guys, it's me, Randomized User. So today I'll be uh, ranking town sale rolls. So now do bear in mind that I'll not. It will not just show all the rolls. It'll be showing like some of the rolls in the game, but like, yeah. And also do bear in mind this is my own uh, personal view about about these rolls. And I'll be ranking these rolls based on how strong these rolls are. Like yeah, so like for example S is like really really strong, like an F is just a doo doo garbage hamnam. Like it's really doo doo garbage hamnam. Which is that's one of the Yeah, so yeah, before without further ado, please make sure to hit that uh, like button and subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So without further ado, let's get started. So first roll we have there is the Ambusher. So, Abisher is like an int interesting role because it, uh, it attacks one visitor uh, to your target, which seems pretty powerful. Well, I mean, I don't hate Ambusher that much since I can die with them, but like, he, but like, the shit part is that uh, you can see you, if uh, there is another visitor, they'll see that you're, uh, you ambush someone. Although, however, it's it's a strong role, and yeah. To be honest, ambusher just makes you play differently. Like for example, if you're a crusader in the Exodia combo, the um, you the ambusher might ruin it since the ambusher will be constantly targeting the dog. So I think the ambusher just makes you play differently, and yeah, I'll probably just get uh, people in the comment pissed off. But. That's uh, that's it. Um, so now second role is the amnesi amnesiac. Okay, so it's an amnesiac. Um, it's a, not that special to it, but let's see. Let's say um. So the amnesiac can like literally remember any role. So you your best bet is that you're probably going to fake claim a role then like, remember a role. But however, that will not work since you get get you could get CC'd. Although, if you want to remember town, just claim amnesiac. Although I don't know if that will work, but like, yeah, you'll probably be put in a casket uh, before you even have a chance to remember a role. But let's say amnesiac is like a pretty strong role. You can like turn it to any role it want you want, like from a dead role. So. But the shit part is that it's uh, usually publicly announced. So I'm not gonna put in B tier, but I'm gonna put in C tier next to the ambusher. And now next here is the neutral killing, which is the arsonist. Okay, so the arsonist, it's like a really, really, really interesting role because it's like very strong as a neutral killing and it deals unstoppable attack. So like, I'm just gonna put it in S tier. So the reason why I placed it in S tier is uh, probably because number one, it's like really hard to te detect because you have to do two nights to kill someone and no one would suspect of an arsonist. So if you're like here over here dousing people, um, you're just going to like uh, nuke the entire town, uh, and the town won't suspect uh, of there being an arsonist. Unless, yeah, you know, there is an investigator where your investigative result is Bodyguard, the Godfather, Arsonist, and Crusader. Although, the dual Arsonist, yeah, you're pretty much screwed and done for. Um, but like, yeah, this role is like really strong. Now next here is we have the Blackmailer. The Blackmailer belongs in B tier. I... Yeah, it's honestly my personal view of the blackmailer, but like the blackmailer can make people silent, silent, for an entire day. Yeah, so you probably just uh, be locked onto the investigator, and it's a pretty strong role. Like you could go locked into, you could be locked into like any town investigator, and they won't be able to spot you, especially if you want to spy. And that's not all. The thing is, you'd be hearing uh, whispers, like you'd just eavesdrop on whispers. 
So you can gain information. Also, probably the best strategy for blackmailer is that you do not uh, you do not blackmail someone just so they won't suspect of you you, you being uh, a blackmailer or just suspect that there is a blackmailer in the game. But if everyone already knows that you exist, then uh, you can just blackmail. But that's probably good. But the only time people won't know that you exist is that if it's like in co Coven All Any or All Any generally. So next role is the bodyguard. I'm gonna put it in like E tier. Uh, I don't know why I'm just gonna put it in E tier. But here's but hear me out. This is honestly just my personal view. So my personal view on the bodyguard is that the bodyguard is just uh, is just that bodyguard. You can basically protect someone, although the bodyguard on bodyguard combo turns I'm not gonna talk about combos right now. So like the bodyguard deals a powerful attack, which the difference between Crusader and uh, Bodyguard is that Bodyguard just dies. Like it sucks uh, when you have to die, but the Bodyguard deals a powerful attack, so it could kill any visitor in here. But the worst, thing, but the doo-doo thing is that, yeah. So yeah, if you're a bodyguard, there's uh, two. Th there's uh, one thing you can do. You can pray to whoever your god is, Allah, Allah, Jesus, or whoever your god is. Uh, because if you guard someone like a revealed mayor or jailer, uh, you'll be put in a casket, or you'll be pro you'll probably be with your ancestors. So yeah, um, bodyguard is going to be in E tier. Wait, actually, like. D tier, um, yeah, D tier. So now, next here, we have the Consigliere. So, we have the Consigliere, which is basically dark version of uh, the Investigator. So, about the Consigliere, you can see someone's exact role, which is that you bring information to the Mafia. And, uh, like that, you're just basically, like, um... Bringing information that you can use, you sustain to yourself. So if you publicly announce it, it to the mafia, although the best thing you can do is that uh, if you remember, if you like memorize the investigative result, which I doubt anyone will do, um, you can like, like uh, say someone investigate a result, and then probably try to get them out of their initial killing, or I don't know. But uh, here we also, but your fake claim is going to be sh sheriff. So I'm just going to put it in like A tier with A tier. No, actually like B, B tier or A tier. I don't really know. So I'm just going to place it in E tier. This is like my personal view. So concert. Okay, so next we have concert. Hmm, yeah, yeah, concert. Okay, so concert is basically an evil escort. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. So, Concert is like, in a double Concert game, it's like, extremely strong. Yeah, I'm just going to be ranking rules by how strong it is, so like, you gotta bear that in mind. Okay, so like, uh, Concert, it's like, uh, you can constantly roll rock uh, uh, someone, someone good, like, uh, Jailer or whoever, but uh, the problem is that, uh, you would be suspected as concert, but it's actually a really strong role since you can basically like uh, pretend that you're signing this town since you're basically an escort. But like it's a but it's a concert, and the concert is like pretty powerful. But I'm just gonna put it in like uh, B tier with the black mirror. Oh yeah, coven leader. So we got the coven leader. Um. Coven leader is like a really strong role since you're pretty much you know it's like witch like over there but it's for coven and like basically you're the leader and everything but I I'm not gonna talk about that so yeah about that you control someone and make them walk into whatever you want to do so basically you're just gonna be like com you can combo with uh, you and Medusa. 
Yeah, I'm gonna just reset here. Yeah, you can combo yourself with uh, you uh, with the Coven Leader and Medusa, where you make someone walk into Medusa, and then they get Stone Gaze, which is pretty good, okay combo. Oh wait, no, 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 it's not an okay combo. It's like good combo. Although, or you could actually be locked onto the serial killer constantly, and or like serial killer available for any neutral killing. So, it's like a very strong role. I'm gonna put it in S tier. Now, next here, we have the Crusader. Okay, so the Crusader is a town protective role. So, the Crusader, um, it inflicts a basic attack on uh, the visitor, which it could either be good or it will suck. But uh, you also give a basic, no, no, not basic defense, powerful defense to your target. And like, you inflict basic attack. Also, however, since it's a basic attack, it will only, like, it will not kill rolls like arsonists or, uh, or, uh, serial killers or something like that. Although, you can create Exodia combo, in which the doctor is locked onto you and you will be constantly protected. So, it's a no problem, unless there is an arsonist in it. I mean, I'm for sure. So, yeah, it's like, it's like, um, C tier. Yeah, no, 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 wait. H, B tier. This guy there, F tier. <laughs> like, bro, what are you even doing with this guy there? Like, this guy there is, like, weak as the AF, and probably no one is good. Unless, like, there's a lookout in game, you can deceive them. Like, yeah, you can basically deceive them, but, yeah. So, yeah, so this guy there might be con confusing to some people, but how it works is that you select, a you select a member of the Mafia and you disguise them as someone, as someone to, uh, part of a non-Mafia member. Yeah, it's, someone is non, as a non-Mafia member, which it only probably affects, like, invest investigator and, uh, and uh, lookout. That's all. Yeah, so, so yeah, it just sucks, but like, no, 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 you know, I'm not gonna put it in E tier. Now, Doctor, okay, so Doctor, it's uh, like, yeah, Doctor, um, Doctor is like uh, pretty good, actually, as it can cure poison from Poisoner. Also, what sucks is that you can't be locked onto the mayor. Also, however, you can create Exodia with the uh, Crusader, and so your this Doctor is like a pretty strong role. I'm just gonna put it in C tier with uh, Ambush and Amnesia and Amnesia. Okay, Escort. Oh my God. Not okay. Escort is like a very very strong role. Um. Wait. I'm just gonna put the. No. No. I'm not gonna. So like escort is going to be going with B tier with a uh, consort. So like um, no, I was gonna place consort. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I place consort in A tier is because like consort uh, can like is like with mafia, so it's less likely for the consort to die. But yeah, that's only my personal view, and it's like consort is so like we have. So like, moving on with the Escort, so the Escort, uh, Serial Killer pretty much uh, destroys it, but who cares about Serial Killer? So your strategy is that like, pretty much just announce who you're gonna roadblock, uh, if, if it's like a Serial Killer game, and then Serial Killer is a problem, or you can whisper it to someone, unless you're just whispering to Serial Killer, but like, who cares? So like, the Escort is like a very strong role, since it can, you can like, basically lock onto someone and they won't do, be able to do an ability anymore. So like if it's uh, if it's arsonist, you you can't you won't lock them and they won't be dousing or igniting. It's like ma uh, mafioso or godfather or whatever the hell. Um, yeah, although yeah, so you're basically going to prevent them from doing anything at all. You know I'm just gonna place an eight here with the comp the concert. Okay, now next here we have Executioner. Executioner is gonna be in 
C tier. Um, yeah, so the Executioner is a very strong role due to its basic defense. Also, people might call you out. Although, it can be a. Uh, no, I'm just gonna put it in D tier. It's not, not right that strong. Although, you can make uh, creative plays. Although, it's not exactly that strong. And the uh, reason being is that the people. If people already know that as. Uh, executioner exist then you're pretty much be screwed and uh, like if you have basic defense which can protect you but if it was a vigilante you're done for because the vigilante might explode you and you'll be voted out so yeah i think it's gonna be a D tier but like executioner is like a pretty good role okay next we have the order so i'm gonna put it in c tier the reason being is that uh, C tier is because it's like, uh, yeah, it can do it three times and you can basically deceive the entire town as, as like a forger where you actually make a fake will. Like you can target someone not confirmed and then you can basically like target them and uh, make it like, yeah, I had a game where I was like, uh, where I was like, uh, I don't, I don't know, oh yeah, Sheriff, and I was like, a Sheriff, and the Forger actually deceived the town by forging someone as a po po Potion Master, and uh, they wrote that I was Arsonist, and then they were all, they were all uh, pretty aggressive on me, so I was uh, pushed, because like, the Forger is actually a pretty strong role that it is, like it is, uh, so... It's like in C tier since it can only do it three times. Not framer F tier. F stands for framer. Oh, let me just say good framer. Yeah, framer. Framer tier. It's like, what do you even do with the framer? Like, it sucks ass. Like, bro. Why? What do you even do with the framer? Like, unless you're actually, like, lucky and uh, the. Sh and there's like sheriff or t or investigator investigating your target, and it does last permanently, but like it sucks. Like how do you even? Okay, now next is Godfather. Yeah, instant A tier. Now right, I'll back. Yeah, I'm not gonna be put in C tier since it's not really that strong. But it's just Godfather is actually like a strong uh, mafia role since it has detection immunity, meaning it appears innocent to the sheriff. And we and it has basic defense, so that the Godfather is going to be like hard to kill, hard to and hard to detect, and and like no one will suspect that there will be a Godfather, uh, in game, uh, because like, and basically you're doing nothing at all, so like you're basically in like, mm, yeah, it's basically a mafia, so but in, but on steroids. Now next is the Guardian Angel. The Guardian Angel is going to be in like uh, B tier. The reason I think the Guardian Angel is B tier is because if you're a Guardian Angel, people will probably like leave you alone since you're only protecting your target. And you can protect your, and you can actually confirm yourself as a Guardian Angel by protecting your target. Unless you get Roblox and and yeah, you can pretty much ask your target for their role since you are, you are their GA, Guardian Angel. And yeah, but basically on that scenario, oh, Guardian Angel is like a much flexible role. Oh, since it's initial benign, meaning it can like protect you from any attack. So if you're the Guardian Angel's target, then you're pretty much good. If you're like on evil, the guardian angel will be siding with you instantly and like all of that. Hexmaster. Ah, oh, Hexmaster. I'm gonna put it in like. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in like. Uh, B tier. I'm gonna put it in like B tier since it's basically framer but it's on steroid. So like the thing is the fr the hexmaster it makes you like want to play much more quickly, and with the necronomicon it deals basic defense, which can kill off county and although your presence will be known, although however, 
or the town, the town, it will make the town play much more quicker and differently. And then, yeah, it will change the investigative result and share the investigative result, making them appear suspicious, so it will cause all hysteria and confusion. And with the Necronomicon, you're basically dealing uh, basic defense while also hexing your top, while also you have, which will bring less less players and which will pl bring less players to hex. Ah, Hypnotist. Hypnotist is like one of my favorite mafia role. It's like a really hypnotist. I'm just gonna put it in like A tier. I like I like a hypnotist and it's like pretty strong. My best fake claim for it is that you can claim like a, a crusader. Although you can pretty much select any fake messages and then you can everyone anyone will confirm you and then you'll pretty much be out of safe. Like bro, you it's like a really good uh, good mafia deception role in which you uh yeah let me just Oh yeah yeah no, we So like yeah it's basically a good mafia deception role whereas you are basically deceiving town with fake messages and with fake messages you get yeah, with fake messages, you get to uh, basically confirm yourself, which, although you have to use communication like all the other mafia roles, but like, so, yeah, no, hypnotist is a good role. Now, the next layer is investigator. Investigator is a B tier. Investigator is like a really fun role to play, and it's like very, it's like strong role. It's like really strong since, uh, like it's really strong since you actually, uh, yeah, since you actually investigate someone and with a common expansion you get four clues, but in classic you get three clues, in which although these clues are probably just for balancing, but like it feels fun to play as an investigator and it's also strong. So like without an investigator, yeah, it's actually gonna be hard for a town to figure out. And the interesting part about the investigator is that it's less confusing. Now jailer. Jailer is an instant S tier. Well what I personally think about jailer is that jailer is like um you see uh uh so like let me just bring an example. Okay, so like jailer is like basically uh, an average enemy uh, on stealth mission where it's not optional at all. Well, <laughs> I don't know why I'm breaking that, but like, let's say that it's like uh, a hard boss in video games and you're like a character, so like, you have to memorize everything and you have to play carefully just so, just so you can actually uh, beat the boss. So like, yeah, or imagine that if like uh, it's a basic parkour and the, the jailer is an obstacle and it, you are the character and like you have to be careful and not go ape shit uh, when you when you're playing against the jailer. <laughs> like for example, if you're a jester, you can't go, you can't go, hey, uh, hey, ape, you can't go like ape shit mode as a jester when there's a jailer around. And it's like a strong role because like you have three three day three execution, and you can pretty much in role block and interrogate with people. Although your biggest weakness is the uh, probably werewolf and serial killer if you manage to get deceived by them. Although one thing as a jail jailer is not to be clueless at all. Like, don't be clueless as a jailer, and you'll find the jailer as a very strong role. Next is janitor. I'm gonna put it in C tier with... with, a uh, forger. So, like, uh, janitor can, like, pretty much see who they clean, and, uh, it's pretty much just a free fake claim uh, ticket. Also, you will... Also, you can only do it three times, but you'll... But it pretty much sucks when you've used it all, but you hey, you can actually just fake claim and and like yeah. 
although as a mob, although for non, I don't know what to say. Let's say just yeah, and also you can actually read out the uh, bloody wills, meaning that uh, you can actually you can actually uh, see who exactly is SK. Like if it's a jailer or an escort that Roblox is serial killer. They can instantly point out to who the serial killer is and then probably push them. But this is C tier since it can only do it three times. I know you might argue with me that it's going to be uh, just for balancing out the janitor, but that's all my personal view. Now, Jester. Jester. Um, yeah, Jester is going to be in <sighs> D tier. Yeah, I, the reason I put it in D tier is that it's not exactly strong when you're still alive and you're actually vulnerable to attackers during the day. So like, for example, if they're like a jailer or a uh, vigilante, you can't go ooga booga mode on during the day or else you'll be targeted by the jailer and targeted by the vigilante, which you'll be meeting your ancestors in heaven. Or hell, I don't know. But so, but like, it's so like a very deceptive role. Uh, because you like can deceive people, and yeah, you're gonna basically deceive others. And so, if you manage to deceive people to, into lynching you, and yeah, but you also have to pray that there's no jailer or vigilante if you're playing in mode like uh, common O N E or O N E generally. So like J Jester, I put it with executioner since it isn't exactly the strongest since you're mostly vulnerable to during the night, and during the night you cannot win if you're if you're dead during the night. So basically. E, you're just vulnerable, but uh, a really, but it's also a fun role. But I didn't rank it by fun. I meant to like how strong it is. Ah, uh, Juggernaut C tier. Like not, I don't think people will think. Oh, hey, there's a Juggernaut. We we should be afraid. No, I feel like it's like a werewolf, but but your Walmart version of werewolf. So yeah, it can attack night one, and it basically can attack night two. Our game's rampage at like wait hold on let me Google that. Um, <laughs> let me Google that. <laughs> bro, bro, I should be knowing this. Um, uh, Talisman. Yeah, bro. I'm just gonna leave you a little bit. Uh, yeah. I, my Wi-Fi is turned down. <laughs> okay. Uh, juggernaut, Juggernaut. Bro, wait, wait, I should actually know this, uh, like, bro, bro. Come on, shit. So, like, I assume... Oh yeah, second kill you get rampage, so you're probably going to get the rampage at like uh, no wait, night two you kill, night two, night three you kill, and then yeah, you're probably going to get rampage by night four. So yeah, it's basically like werewolf, but even weaker, and it's Walmart version. So yeah, mostly juggernaut. It's very easy to detect. To detect, it's very easy to kill. I think. But like, most part, you're probably going to be, yeah, <laughs> like, I don't, yeah, Juggernaut, I, I rated it by how strong it is, and it's like C tier strong, now look out, ah, uh, look out A tier, 
Because like your your main priority as a lookout is that you have to see, uh, you have to see who visited who, who visited your target, and you can pretty much see who visited your target. But, uh, like, your probably main priority to jailer, meaning that jailer will, you will watch the jailer and see who visited it. Like, you can instantly detect who killed your target, but. If there are more than one visitor, then I'm sorry, but you're probably going to struggle with who visited your target. Oh, and if it's an ambusher, you're you're done for. Now next is Mafia, so it's like D tier. It's not that strong. It's just an average killing roll for Mafia. Like, um, yeah, so your average killing roll for like Mafia, um. But it's like an important role since you can oh you have to kill just to win as mafia. So like yeah, there is promotion and but it's like weaker and also if you manage to turn into Godfather then congrats you congrats then you're pretty much pretty much a bit safe but like yeah mafia also is very easy to detect and it's not that strong. Mayor at S tier no wait, A tier. No wait, I think it's turning into a witch hero. Ah. Um. It's turning into witch to witch. Uh, yeah, let's put in S tier. Since S tier is. Uh, why you put a mayor in S tier is that you can pretty much call in. Uh, call in uh, for uh, protectors at to, to you. Yeah, you can call in protectors and. Pretty much, you are, you're going to be safe, safe, um, but not for long, if you actually get poisoned, don't click on, don't click on the, hey, can I, I'm confirmed mayor, button, because, like, um, you're pretty much done for, you're going to, like, but it's actually a really strong role due to its extra vote, and with, uh, if you're ever in a 1v1 situation with uh, another with another neutral killer, or killing or evil, then you can pretty much win, then you can pretty much just kill them. Unless the uh, unless initial killer killing has a, has a guardian angel watching over them, which I doubt it will happen. So like, yeah, uh, if you're a mayor, it's actually a very strong role, and you're probably expected to be the leader, in which you have to lead your, lead your entire team, of town. Now, next role here we have medium. Medium is B tier. Me medium is like really strong since you can communicate with the dead. You can get all information from the dead. Uh, so that would mean that you uh, can actually get all like uh, hey hey what do you what information do you guys have like for example if it was like a dead uh, a dead uh, psychic you can get information from them if it's like a dead investigator you can get information from them if it's like a dead sheriff you can get information from them but however you need to be careful you need to be care be careful of. Uh, who you're talking to since you can also talk to a mafia or an evil in which they might not help you and will deceive you also medium is like a strong role now next is the medusa with um it's like a tier it's like a necronomicon with it's like i don't know with a necronomicon you get infinite stone gate and with the medusa you can pretty much get a combo with the with the coven leader and Medusa, in which you and because you stone gaze, it means that, and because of the fact that you stone you can stone gaze, which you they you will hide the role and their will, so if you kill like an investigative role, you can uh, you can pretty much hide every information they have unless there's like a medium. But that won't matter, since you're pretty much already strong, and you inflict powerful attack. Now next is Necromancer. Necromancer is also A tier, since uh, 
yeah, Necromancer is A tier since it's actually really strong since it can possess whatever you want. Although, and with a Necronomicon, you can use a ghoul if you do not want to waste uh, any. If you do not want to waste any. Uh, any dead bodies. Although, however, they are pretty strong. And you can actually inflict basic attack without you having to go insane anywhere. Although, you can still be targeted. Although, Necromancer is like a stronger version of... Oh uh, yeah, it's basically Retribution spell on steroid. Our next is Pirate. Pirate sucks. <laughs> like, what do you expect from the fact that I made a video about Pirate and it's very fragile. Like, it's really, really fragile, and what do you, like, what can you expect from a pirate? Like, you, it's very RNG dependent, and how do you even play as a pirate? It's like, one, it's very RNG dependent, and two, it's very fragile. So, like, it can pretty much be sent to the casket before it can do anything. So, if you walk into a veteran, bon voyage. If you walk into, a, like, a crusader, au revoir. If you uh, walk into like anything or you get killed or you do a werewolf, you're done for. Like, uh, I'm pirate. I don't understand how pirate not very that good. It's like, it sucks. It's not that strong. Next is Black Bear. It's gonna be uh, Black Bear or Pestilence. Yeah. Black Bear is like very, 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 very strong. Although, I don't know how to rank it. Both uh, Black Bear and Pestilence at once, but like, Black Bear is like very strong. Uh, as Pestilence, you can pretty much like nuke the entire town, and uh, yeah, Black Bear is like very strong since it's hard to detect with no defenses and no attacks at all. So, like, very hard to detect. Also, as Pestilence, you're like very, very, very strong. Like, strongest being you ever seen. And so, like, Pestilence is, like, um, like, the strongest thing you've ever seen do this on, uh, invincible defense. So that means you'll not die into anything, especially if it was, like, getting haunted by a Jester, or a Hex Bomb, or, but you have to be careful with what, who you choose to kill, since, uh, if you, since uh, you can be teamed up by a bunch of Coven. Or mafia, if you didn't, if you didn't choose carefully, and because in rampage you can get get to too many kill. Uh, poisoner. Uh, no, it's not that strong. Like sure, you poison, but um, it's like not that strong. No, no, like D tier. No, no, no. I'm just gonna place the D tier. So like, it's not that strong since uh, you can basically like delay attack, and also because of the hypnotist. Yeah, I'm not gonna go with the hypnotist. Like a po the potion master, I mean poisoner. No, not potion master. Poisoner. Like it sucks for the most part since uh, it's not canonical ability. Yeah, sure, it's good, but it's not exactly good since uh, since uh, like uh, for most part there won't be that many doctor. And if you're the uh, if you're the only killing kill capable. Uh, Coven alive, like if you're solo, you're pretty much sucks. It pretty much sucks. Hey, like, yeah, how do you even live through that? And yeah, okay, now next is Potion Master. Potion Master is like strong C tier. Potion Master is like really strong, uh, since uh, um. Yeah, you have three potions and with the Necronomicon, you don't have any cooldown. Although, the cooldown uh, will pretty much slow you down. But uh, you can pretty much just gain information, just heal, heal any of your coven member, and you can go ahead and like. Um, although, I, although, one thing about Potion Master, don't, uh, don't uh, cure someone uh, from poison, uh, just so you can confirm yourself. The potion, uh, potion master and doctor curing poison is like really different, so don't do it. I feel a bit tired, just help me. 
Okay, so like, let's say if you want to kill, you can kill. Which I don't know how do you kill. I don't know what what do you, what attack you type do you do. So. Okay, I'm like uh, with the potion master. Yeah, it's actually strong since it's hard to detect uh, by most times, and you can basically pretend to be a sheriff if you have the Necronomicon and you choose to reveal, and you can basically kill. But like, okay, yeah, it's like okay, it's not that strong, not that weak. Next is the uh, psychic. Psychic is the B tier. You can instantly see who's the. Uh, no, no, no. I'm just gonna put the C tier. I'm not gonna lie to myself. Like, Psychic is like good. Yeah, you see, Psychic, about Psychic, uh, on odd numbered night, you can. You will have three people in your name to which who is bad. And you'll have. An even numbered night, you'll have two people who is good. Although, the interesting twist about the uh, Psychic is that you can only see you, uh, that uh, one or or uh, all of them might be evil, might be good, but uh, on odd number night, like, yeah, you don't know what's odd number night. What are you doing? So, like, yeah, odd number night is basically from one to, from one in something like that. Yeah, I'm not going to list them all. So, yeah, I know it's all, but like, I'm not gonna go through that. Um, so, um, about Psychic, you're pretty much, uh, you can, you're pretty much, uh, pop strong, but it's not that strong, since, like, it's only, it's, like, pretty easy to play flame, and, yeah. So, like, now, let's go with the Retribution, it's B tier, because, like, you can actually, your top main priority is that you can actually use these uh, town and you can use the dead townies and uh, pretty much let's choose uh, to hunt down evil like town investigative are your main priorities uh, since are one of your main priorities since uh, you can use it to detect and use information and because you don't go and you you stay at home um, and, uh, and these, uh, make minions, uh, you are pretty much, uh, going to be safe from something like, from being rampaged, like from Juggernaut, or Pestilence, or, uh, Werewolf. So, like, yeah, but, it's also, but, uh, your top main priority for controlling is going to be Vigilante, since you can kill anyone, Although, I'm not gonna go through that. The next is Serial Killer. Serial Killer is like fun and is strong. But it's gonna be in B tier. So, I can. So, like, uh, the Serial Killer. Yeah, it's actually strong and it can kill Jailer. Jailer and the uh, Escorted Consort. And especially Pyrex. Like, if. if uh, like, Serial Killer can go on a mass. Uh, mass uh, killing. And can pretty much kill whoever the hell they want. Like, hey. Like, like what's best is that it can kill Knight 1. And, uh, since it can kill Knight 1, it can... It can pretty much, uh, like, but you can... But the best part is that you can choose uh, to make your presence unknown. So that people won't stress much about you. Oh, and because you have a uh, basic defense, it's easy to detect uh, the other SK, and SK is very strong with top with double SK. Like you don't know how strong double SK is, but yeah. And since it's like a flex, a much more flexible role, you can uh, like make a team with with serves on the SK. So yeah, now next is sheriff. It's like. It's like okay, it's like easy to, like easy and much more flexible, and it's a town investigative role, although, what's, 
although it's like very easy to memorize uh, the entire investigative results from it, but like, hey, it's something you gotta know. And that is uh, that the sheriff is mostly fake claimed, so it isn't. And since it's non unique, it's easily fake claimed since it's pretty much easy to to use. And but it's not that strong since it is known as the weakest uh, TI. The next is spy. Spy is very strong. Spy is like really strong. You can uh, bug someone to see what happened to them. And you can see who Coven and Mafia visited. So, yeah. So, like, it is uh, pretty much. Uh, but, like, Spy is, like, sometimes confusing if you're, like, new to the game. I mean, I also do find the Spy a little bit confusing, but it's not that confusing. But, like, Spy is, like, very strong. It's, like, known. It's, like, as, like, the strongest Italian investigative role. So. If you know how to use it, then go ahead and yeah, I'm pretty much tired. Okay, so now here we gonna go to with Survivor. Survivor is um is like C tier. It's like much more flexible, and it's like a uh, people evils usually let leave the, the survivors alone. Like people, sometimes people usually leave the survivor alone and they don't. But like it's like pretty strong actually. So it's like pretty strong actually since uh, you can actually you can actually get to win with evil and you can pretty much get to with evil actually with evil and evil will usually leave you alone. Like you can side with whoever you want and yeah. They will basically like let you live uh, in exchange for you side with them, and because you have a uh, vest like you can that you can use four times, you can uh, you will gain like basic. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. Like, uh, let me just uh, search that up. Some survivor. <laughs> Oh yeah, basic defense. So like, uh, basic defense, survivor with the vest, survivor gains a basic defense. Although it's mostly fake claimed and it's like uh, pretty weak actually. But usually evils love the uh, survivor. Uh, but you can be unlucky. But although depending on this, I'm just gonna put in D tier or C tier. Yeah, C tier since it's actually strong since. Uh, Due to the nature of uh, what people, how how people usually treat the survivor. Next is the tracker. Tracker is um a tier. A eight tracker just tracks uh, whoever. Like you can actually detect uh, who killed who. Who killed who? Uh, by simply. Uh, who killed who by simply just tracking this person. If that person visited someone, then and you found the killer, and uh, the person they visited died, then you're pretty much going, you're pretty much lucky. So, yeah. Although it's a town investigative role, and it's pretty strong actually. Now, transporter, um, transporter. Yeah, if it's yeah, transporter is like an even flexible. No, no, I'm just gonna put it in his tier. Like transporter, you can actually transport someone, and they'll perform their action on the person you transport, on the person you uh, transported to. Yeah, I just forgot to say this word. I'm tired. But like the video must go on. So let's say. So like I gotta say, uh, the transporter, you can pretty much get kills as a, as a transporter while keeping yourself alive. And it's pretty much a fun role and a strong role to play with. Now, Trapper, Trapper D tier. Like, one, you can't like trap yourself so you can't protect yourself. But you can protect others, preventing them from an attack. But, although unlike uh, Bodyguard, it's like better than Bodyguard. 
since unlike bodyguard you do not die and uh, pretty much also i just wonder how many sailors that trapper okay so like let's say oh yeah powerful attack it's so like powerful attack and you can pretty much uh, learn uh, who no, 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 let's not make it D tier. I'm gonna make it like B tier. It's like you can learn who's who, who stepped on your trap, like which old stepped on your trap. And you can kill, and you can kill the, the, but the problem is you can't defend yourself, so yeah, I'm pretty much going to go with C tier. Now, Vampire Hunter, Vampire Hunter is the gun to be on D tier. It's not exactly that strong since you can only, it's only good for vampires and you can only just, uh, like, know, know if there's vampires or not. So, yeah, pretty much uh, you're strong against vampires, but you're weak generally. So, like, if you're killed, vampires will love it, like, so much. Although, uh, also you can make vampire like instantly rage quit, which can be good, but it's not exactly strong. And besides, you'll just turn into a vigilante with like only one single bullet. Bro, one single bullet, like how else are you gonna be useful? But you're pretty much useful, but it's not that strong. Vamps, uh, they're also not that strong. Yeah, but although you can convert someone, although but the only vampire will just die. So like, imagine that you you got converted and then you walked into someone a veteran and then you die or you get trapped by uh, a trapper. So like, let's say uh, yeah, vampire is not that strong and is weak against vampire hunter. A uh, veteran, a uh, veteran. They're really, really strong. Like, veteran with powerful attack and basic defense. And you can kill all the visitor, which you can actually, which is pretty strong. And you can actually confirm yourself with kills. Yes, with kills. And all that you gotta know is, I mean, the, all of that kills, um, you can actually confirm yourself with it. If someone uh, tries to CC you or, I don't know. But like veteran, yeah, they make me hate them so much because of how powerful they are. Now vigilante, I'm just gonna pay it in B tier. Uh, vigilante has three bullets and it's very strong actually, since uh, you can kill jesters, confirm yourself. You can kill, you can like shoot any neutral evils uh, to confirm yourself. And you can, if you, like, if you suspect, uh, you can actually, like, detect someone of being, uh, evil by just simply just shooting them, uh, with, uh, and they might, they'll have defense. Like, usually evil roles have defense, except for, for like, survivor or guardian angel protection. Or, like, yeah, but pretty much it's, uh, like... Although you can't kill Knight 1, and you very much have to, have to like, be patient, and, uh, just sink smoothly whenever you're shooting, since, uh, you're, you can you have the guilt mechanic. So, up next, we have the Werewolf. Werewolf is, like, strong. Very strong. Like, the Werewolf is, like, the strongest, uh, role, uh, well, uh, because like they make night too deadly and later nights very deadly to this uh, fact that they can rampage and well werewolf is like uh, can kill uh, one player and then the visitors and werewolf is like a very strong role since uh, it can pretty much rampage and uh, make night deadlier when which players have to think thoroughly Although the weakness is by veteran or the weakness is veteran or bodyguard or pretty much yeah. Now <sighs> next and last one is which which is 
It's gonna be in B tier. No, not C tier. Which is C tier since it's evil, uh, neutral evil, and can side with anyone. And since it can side, it can side with Coven. And if there's two, and if there's like Coven leader and witch, um, yeah, you can pretty much cause hysteria. And if you're siding with Coven, that's gonna be bad. So it is basically like double Coven leader. Although. And you can pretty much side with anyone and uh, try to use inf try to use that information with the faction you're siding with. Like since it's neutral, it can side with literally anything, like anything. So, which is like C tier, but it's not that strong. You know, no, no, no. It's gonna be so strong A tier. So, you see, um, so now we're done with the tier list. So that is all the tier list for the roles. So yeah, please uh, do subscribe, uh, subscribe and hit the bell and leave a thumbs up. And yeah, I want to know your opinion about these roles since these are just my personal views. And yeah, I'm just I will just ranking them by how strong it is. But I'm probably going to get my comment exploding when i when after i make this so thanks for watching and please do subscribe